Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Really, really stoked to be bringing you um, this this company review. Uh, I spent all of Sunday in a vortex on the internet trying to find under the radar energy stocks with high potential for growth in 2021. And I found a cracker in the EV space. So company is Grand West Transportation Group. Ticker symbol is B-U-S-X-F, and if you hadn't guessed already, they're a bus manufacturer based in Canada. It's already done a 10x from 20 cents to $2, all-time high was last night, or yesterday, wherever you live in the world. Um, that's because of all the, the positive news that's come out pretty much all year long. I still think um, it's under the radar, because the market cap is super low. It doesn't have a stock twits page. There's not much um, coverage on YouTube or anywhere else on Twitter and stuff yet, but I think that's about to change. Market cap, like what I said, is tiny, 134 mil. Uh, public float, small as well, 73 million in shares out there. It has an analyst rating from Wall Street rating the company as a buy which is always a positive moving forward to have Wall Street covering a stock and rating it as a buy. It's just uplisted on the OTC markets. If you didn't know what that means, it means that there's different tiers for companies to be able to trade on the different tiers of OTC markets. So Grande West trades on the highest tier. Uh, that's all about transparency of the company. So it's a trustworthy company. Um, obviously, disclosing all of their financials and all of their news moving forward. It's really important. It's also important for companies that want to uplist again from OTC or in Canada to the NASDAQ um, for companies to be already on the highest tier in these other markets. News about that uh, we'll touch on soon, so stay tuned. So we said it's a bus maker. Links to everything will be in the description for you guys to go real deep on your research. They've got a, a range of different models. Important to note here, all these models are low carbon emission. Um, so 35 and 30 foot compressed natural gas buses, 35 and 30 foot diesel, but the diesel they run on or set up to run on are biodiesels, so clean diesel, which are a lot better for the planet. 26 to 28 uh, foot model in both of these setups and most importantly is their 28 foot electric vehicle it's called the vicinity lightning absolutely sexy little bus see the news here and it's only just come out recently november 24 grande west unveils the vicinity lightning electric vehicle design and begins marketing for 2021 deliveries. The bus, or the company's partnered up with two behemoths to help make the bus. So they're getting their battery packs from Lion Smart. Uh, they're the BMW i battery packs, which are really, really uh, top quality. So Lion Smart also uh, has signed a contract with um, Lion Electric different companies, I'm pretty sure, to, to produce their batteries for line electric buses. So the Vicinity Lightning will also partner with Hoffa Powertrain to produce their powertrains. And Hoffa is a beast. They produce powertrains for quite a few OEMs as well, some of the big boys. Uh, there's a PowerPoint presentation providing you or us or anyone with all of the specs and details of the vicinity lightning uh, all of the partnerships specs you guys can delve deeper into this um, in your own time so yeah just the news that grande west partners with hoffa for their powertrains hoffa website go and have a look and that other news grande west partners with lion smart and BMW to electrify the vicinity buses, so their battery packs. Lion Smart, um, yeah, the contract with the Lion Electric Bus Company. 
Here's another bit of news that's pretty important. So Grande West partners with Hinduja, spell check, Tech, for a manufacturing plant. So Hinduja, Hinduja Tech, they they create manufacturing plants for some giant OEMs in America. And they've partnered up with Grand, Grande West to produce their manufacturing plant in... Where was it? Uh, DC? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's DC. The, the manufacturing plant is going to be Buy America compliant. So all the government agencies that want to be buying buses in America have to buy from Buy America compliant companies. To be compliant, uh, you have to have a manufacturing plant in America. 70% of the, the bus has to be from American components. Grande West has amb ambitious plans to open US operational headquarters to develop a highly advanced manufacturing assembly in the state of Washington. Engage with global leader Hijuna Tech successfully worked with um, some of the large, largest OEMs tier one in the world. Just have a listen to this interview. Um, it only came out 28th of December, so not long ago. The director of Grande West stating some of the catalysts for moving forward in 2021. So just take a listen a little bit, but from what you can tell us, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now going into 2021? Well, I, I think, you know, for us, um, one of the things I didn't touch on is that, you know, we aren't a startup company. We've been around now for over 10 years and we have sales and revenue. We're delivering over $50 million in, in uh, buses, over a hundred buses here, probably within the next 90 to hundred days. So we have some pretty substantial revenue, uh, uh, growth are already uh, based in uh, for deliveries coming up. And the other thing that we've also done is uh, we've engaged uh, uh, digital offering to actually help us and assist us uplist onto the NASDAQ, which will really put the uh, market awareness uh, uh, for the U.S. customers, uh, um, investors uh, on our. So the director just stated then they've got 50 million in revenue so far with about 100 buses going out in the next 90 days. And he also stated that they've paid digital offering um, 25 grand. You can see, I'll post this in the description, they've paid the fee to, to have this uh, company help them uplist onto the NASDAQ. All the deets will be in the description so you can check that out. But I think that's two massive bits of news. Firstly, having, having revenue um, like that and secondly, an uplisting onto the NASDAQ. So there's this Canadian analyst that summed up some of the highlights for the company. They've just done a capital raise. Um, that's for their manufacturing plant uh, in the States. They're estimated to have sales or revenue um, of 200 million. That's Canadian dollars for 2021. The company's owned by in insiders, uh, 30% already an established bus maker with contracts all over the place. They just got their American distribution license or their buy American distribution license, which helps them with securing contracts. Recently raised $8 million at a bargain price that we all missed at a dollar. Uh, the CEO states they have got 20% margins on their buses and the electric buses have only just launched and they've already got $15 million worth of orders. Partnerships uplisted on the OTC markets and an uplisting is imminent onto the NASDAQ early this year. Companies that it's similar to, well, it's very similar to Green Power Motor Company. Firstly, because they both make buses. Secondly, because they're both out of Canada. Thirdly, because... If you look back early this year, GP or Green Power was only traded uh, in Canada and on the OTC markets before they're uplisting later in the year in 2020. Now that stock's gone from $2 to $30 recently, which is amazing. 
Yeah, green power. Uh, what have they got? I mean, they've got positive catalysts and um, contracts moving forward, but they've only got revenue of 2.8 million for that quarter, which is nothing to shy at. But uh, Grande West has got 50 million dollars so far in 2021, and a lot more in the pipeline. So all of these positive catalysts for Grande West was a buy for me. I waited up till three in the morning to, to be able to buy into this company. I think I FOMO'd into it. Um, do your own research before buying in. I, I can't tell you if it's going to drop down to one of these moving averages or if it's all this positive news that's going to keep pushing the stock price higher. Hope you get something out of this video. Leave it in the comments if you want to discuss uh, any other EV stocks, any other green energy penny stocks that you might be looking at or buying. I really hope you get something out of the vid. Subscribe for the upcoming videos. Give us a like and best luck out there guys. Peace.